Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an absolute value equation with complex numbers. So we have a number that's pretty interesting because when you add i to it or subtract i from it you get the same absolute value. Is that possible? Let's find out. So to be able to solve these kinds of equations and they may not have any solutions, right? we're going to replace z with something. Let's go ahead and use x plus yi. Normally I would use a plus bi, which makes a lot of sense, right? But since we're going to look at it in the coordinate plane, let's go ahead and use x plus yi. Same thing, a plus bi is going to give us the same result. So let's go ahead and replace z with x plus yi and then take the absolute value. So we're going to get x plus yi plus i and then here x plus yi minus i and then we're going to go ahead and take the absolute value of this but before that let's go ahead and put the imaginary parts together so y plus 1 is going to be the imaginary part and here we can write this as y minus 1 multiplied by i great so how do you find the absolute value of a complex number well if you have a complex number like a plus bi its absolute value is defined as the square root of a squared plus b squared. As you know, this is also the square root of the product of z and z bar, which is uh, are the complex conjugates. So let's go ahead and use that definition to find the absolute values. The square root of x squared plus y plus 1 squared equals the square root of x squared plus y minus 1 squared. Since both sides have square roots, and these are real numbers because x and y are both real by definition, right? Let's go ahead and square both sides, get rid of the square roots. And then we're going to end up with x squared plus y plus 1 squared equals x squared plus y minus 1 squared. So what do you see? x squared is going to cancel out. So we can go ahead and cancel that out and we end up with something like this. Let's go ahead and expand both sides. We could also subtract and use difference of two squares. No big difference. y squared plus 2y plus 1 equals y squared minus 2y plus 1. And a lot of things are going to cancel out. Again, y squared is going to cancel out. 1 is going to cancel out. And we're going to end up with don't cancel out the two y's or y's because that's just going to give you 2 equals negative 2, which is kind of meaningless, right? So instead, let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. So at this point, it's very critical that you do not simplify uh, or cancel out the y's because that will be equivalent to dividing by y, but dividing by y is dangerous if y is 0, and you're going to notice what happens in a little bit. So let's go ahead and add 2y to both sides. That gives us 4y equals 0. Divide by 4. Dividing by 4 or any other number is always safe because it's not a variable. So y equals 0. You see, if you divided both sides by 0 here, you would end up with 2 equals negative 2, which is meaningless because y equals 0, you're not allowed to divide by 0. Make sense? So y equals 0 is the answer. So what is that supposed to mean? Let's talk a little bit about what this means because we didn't get any x values. That means x can be what? Anything, right? X can be anything as long as it's real, of course, but Y has to be zero. And what does that tell you? That just tells you that any number with an imaginary part of zero is going to be the answer. In other words, if our number is X plus YI, which is X basically, and X is real. So if our number is real, non-complex, right? <laughs> then real is good enough because that would it can't be complex if something is real then uh, we're going to have solutions. So there are basically infinitely many solutions that all appear on the real axis. So if you were to graph this, all the solutions, it would basically be the real axis. In this case, any point on the real axis would be a solution. So you can think of it as the set of real numbers. The, so the solution set is basically going to be the set of real numbers. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.